what is up my beautiful people my chosen ones my spiritual people my spiritual tribe what is the vibe um i hope that you're having an absolutely amazing day i have another message from god for my chosen ones my spiritual tribe let's get into it okay first and foremost mm -hmm. if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for support me on my journey okay that i always say is bigger than your girl all right god is working within me so that i can give you guys messages to heal to you know confirmation okay um i'm walking in my purpose all right and it's a beautiful thing it's something that i'm super super excited to do and i love connecting with you guys all right i love it i absolutely love it it makes my day and yeah so let's get started all right um if you think that you need to share my content because there's a lot of people out there who need to hear this message okay a lot of my messages um coming from a chosen one coming from being chosen um, I didn't know anything about being chosen when I was younger. I didn't know up until three years ago when God kept telling me I'm chosen, I'm chosen, I'm chosen. And I still didn't know what it was. And I think that now I, I see videos and I'm like, wow, like, wow, I'm in awe, right? Because we're different. Okay. We're not better. We're different. And it's a beautiful thing. And I think that a lot of people need this encouragement. They need this en en enlightenment. Okay. They need to know um, who we are and and how many of us there are okay because I didn't know so um, definitely share this content because a lot of people need this confirmation okay so let's tap into the energy that God has given me okay um, I write all of my notes down because I do want to make I write them down as God sees fit I write everything down because everything comes from God all of my messages okay unless I'm doing a tarot card reading video um, that's just me doing cards and me saying whatever you know, the Holy Spirit puts in, inside of me. Okay. Um, chosen ones, God says that it was a double edged sword that they used to stab you. Okay. Um, that's pretty brutal, right? But let's tap into it. Your enemy slash karmic try to steal your joy, finances, love, abundance. Yeah, they're after it. They tried and some are still trying right now. Okay. This is, um, past, present or future energy. Okay. So it could have happened already, or it may happen to you at some point. Okay. Take what resonates. They tried it all, God says. God saw it all. God said, I saw everything, okay? The knife they used to backstab you with was an illusion. So what God is saying that, you know, all these people who had it in their in their mindset to take this knife, okay? Not really, okay? You guys get what I'm saying. To take this knife, spiritual knife, okay? Um, emotion, okay? Emotional knife, whatever, take it, take it as it resonates. When they decided to take this knife and stab you in the back, stab you in the heart, God created an illusion for them. So this 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 knife, this sword that they had, and they were prepared to 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 take you out with, God had it to be double double edged. Okay, meaning that on the the edge that they wanted to penetrate your body with, your mind and soul, there was another edge where they were holding that handle, and there was no handle there. That, that protection that you have when you have a knife or a sword in your hand, that handle, there was none there. It was a double-edged sword slash knife. And when they stabbed you with it, it went straight into them. And what they didn't know that God is God, God is a God that can do anything and all, okay? So God had it to where when they were stabbing you in the back, aka betraying, betraying you, whatever it is that they wanted to penetrate you, was protected by the blood of Jesus. And if you don't believe in Jesus, that's okay. It was protected by God, okay? So they tried to hurt you in so many ways. They tried to ruin your character, make you lose a job, okay? They tried to do so many dirty things to you, but they only did it to themselves is, is what he's saying. So everything that these people tried to do against you and to you, they're living it out in their lives right now as we speak, past, present, or future, or they will be. Okay, he's telling me to tell you guys to need not worry. Don't worry about whether or not you see your enemy getting their karma. They're going to get it because he knows when to do it and he knows how to do it. And he knows what area he needs to do it to. So if someone is doing a certain thing, he may need to humble them with their finances. He may need to humble them with love. He may need to humble them with losing their car. God knows what to do. Okay, and he wants us to trust him and not be looking for this to happen to people. Okay, don't worry about it, all right? Um, okay, I went over all, I, this, this is what you have notes, but I went over everything, okay? Um, he said they stabbed themselves, as I said before, and now it hurts, okay? 
now what they wanted for you, they are living out. I said that too. It's unfortunate how people, so many people are against us, chosen ones. So many people are against the spiritual tribe. It doesn't make sense, but it does at the same time. They are afraid of our light. They're afraid of who we are. They are afraid of us really, truly sticking together and making shit happen because we can and we will. Okay. Your mission is not complete is what God's saying. He didn't allow that sword to penetrate you. All those things may have hurt you just a little bit, right? But it didn't take you down, okay? Because your mission is not complete, okay? But get this. He says, even when your mission is complete, chosen one, even when your mission is complete and you've done all, all that you were supposed to do and you're elderly, God is telling me to tell you that you will still be abundant. You will be able to bless your children's children, your children's children's children, okay? You will be that person in their lives, that, that, that grandma, that grandpa who is a spiritual leader. Because God is saying to me that he needs us people as chosen ones like me and you. He needs us to live long, to live long in order to continue this going. Because for so long, there was not many of us, but now there's so many of us. Okay, because we're living longer. If you are a chosen one, you are to be eating healthy, feeding your mind, body, and soul um, with healthy things, healthy knowledge, healthy foods. That is why he wants, I did another video about eating healthy chosen ones. Check that out. God wants us to do the best that we can, okay, to live life accordingly here in the physical and in the spiritual world. Okay, he wants us to be leaders for our children's children and vice versa. He wants us to be here. Uh, you know, there are not a lot of people who live to be uh, older, who live to be old, okay? They're not eating healthy. They have stresses in their everyday life and things take them out too early. God is telling me to tell you that we can do better, okay? We deserve better. We're not ordinary people. Everybody should listen to this message, yes. But Chosen One Spiritual Tribe, we can do better, okay? We can do better. We got to be obedient to his word. We got to be obedient and treat our body as it being sacred because our bodies are sacred. We are not to be eating all this unhealthy fast food snacks. We are not to be having sex with everybody because we are lustful. Okay. We are not to be greedy about money. We are supposed to trust that we have what we have and that when it's divine timing, God is going to continue to pour into our cup. Okay. Chosen ones. We are not meant to lack anything. We are meant to be rich, abundant, wealthy. We are meant to be that. We're meant to leave financial stability for our children's children, generations down the line. We have broken generational curses and it's not for, it's not for it. It's not in vain. There's a reason why we are chosen. We are supposed to be wealthy in every area of our lives. And in order to obtain that health on that wealth, we have to be obedient to the word of God. Okay. Now that wasn't even in here. This is what I'm saying. When he speaks to me, he speaks to me. That was not even in my notes. Okay. Um, these people, these karmics, okay, you know who they are. They're fighting a battle between them and the devil. A lot of these people who, who are at home now wishing you unwell. I wish you would be sick. I wish you would not be rich. I wish this, I wish that. Who are they talking to? Who, who are you talking to? We don't even think about them. We don't even know anything that they're doing, but they want to know so bad what we're doing. We have no clue about what they're doing. Okay. So God is saying they're fighting with themselves and the devil, okay? Because we're not focused on them. The only way that you can have a fight or a battle is that when you're, you have opponents. They don't have an opponent because we're not. Yeah, you guys get it. Um, continue to align with God and, and he will continue to protect, okay? You are mine is what God says. You are doing things as I have prepared and taught you to do, okay? All of your enemies are fighting a battle with themselves, Okay, you are not in anything but my heart, my love, my protection, my guidance is what God says. You have no involvement. Karma is being served. I see you preparing for my journey and love and gratitude. He watches all of you guys. He sees your hearts. Okay, it means a lot. He sees your hearts and he's watching you and he's grateful for you being faithful to him. I see them plotting. My eyes were, were never off of you. Even in your storms, his eyes were on you. His hands were on you. And that's why you always got through your storms. And he wants me to tell a lot of you guys, you were going through harsh judgment, harsh storms, and you stayed faithful to him. And he sees you and you will be rewarded. Stand strong, head high. And that is the end. Stand strong, head high. Walk. Speak with authority. Okay? Focus on all of your, chakra, your chakras. Don't back down. Don't be fearful to anyone but God. 
okay? All right, that is it for this video, guys. I'm telling you, Spiritual Tribe, we got a lot in store for us, okay? We can do it. We can do it together. We're going to have so much, 2023 and beyond. We're going to have a lot. If you're lacking now, no more. Be obedient, okay? Subscribe to my channel. Share my content, okay? A lot of us need to hear this, okay? Um, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love and light. Bye.